Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga. I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? So I want to talk about Edgar Berlanga, man. Edgar, aka the Bed Tucker Berlanga, man. Look, I just became a huge fan of this dude, man. I never really heard much about him, never seen him fight before the Vasil Lomachenko and Tiafima Lopez car. He went out there, he fought uh, a guy named Bellows who had never been stopped before. Um, and he was coming, you know, uh, uh, Berlanga coming off of a historic 14 and no all first round knockouts in 14 fights. And he continued his streak with knocking out Bellows, who had never been stopped before, knocking out Bellows for his 15th consecutive first round knockout. I'm going to tell y'all like this. And the, the, the brother Bellows is fighting at 168. Now, we ain't going to get carried away because we know he really ain't fighting no top competition. But he's only 14, he's only 15. And no, I'm not expecting him to fight no tip top guys. But one thing you can't deny, the power is real. I don't care what your, I don't care what the level of competition is. Anybody can get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't make your chin better. You can do all you can do all the neck ex exercises. You know what I'm saying? Get your punch resistance up. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your neck ain't all all uh uh you know flimsy and shit like that. You can do all the neck exercises you want, but if you, you some people got a great chin and some people don't. You know what I'm saying? And this dude is knocking out everybody. You dig what I'm saying? So. And I like I like his combination punching. I like um, he got nice speed for his size. I like the aggressiveness and I like his mindset. You know, he got the mind of a killer. Before the fight, I was talking to my boy. I'm like, bro, he look like he want to hurt something. He look like he want to hurt this dude. You did know what I'm saying? Never mind the 14 straight knockouts. I'm like, bro, this dude look like he want to hurt something. And then I heard his post fight interview. And he said he said the first punch cut him up. You know what I'm saying? The first punch I hit him with opened him up. I'm like, this motherfucker talking like a killer. And then he said, I looked in his eyes and I can tell he didn't want to be in there. When he said that, I'm like, bro, no, nah, this dude a killer, bro. I call him the bed tucker because he putting your ass to sleep. He tucking motherfuckers in. I'm telling you, Edgar Berlanga, Edgar, AKA the bed tucker Berlanga, this man power is real. I'm excited to see what he do at 168. And I think he can fight at 175 one day. This he a pretty big guy. You know what I'm saying? So, man, look, if he I know he's a young guy. And uh and I listened to a, a couple of his little videos and, and and interviews and stuff. He got a good head on his shoulder, man. You know, he understand his the moment that he in right now. He understand where he at in his career. He understand it. As a young fighter, as a as a guy that with a lot of promise, you gotta stay focused. You know, any this could be taken away from you at any time. You know, he actually said these things and he realized, like, bro, I gotta stay on point at all times. You feel me? He even talked about getting game from Floyd Mayweather. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, I gotta, you know, I gotta roll with the punches and you know, just go with the flow. I can't get too high, can't get too low. I gotta stay on point at all times. I like that, man. You could tell he got a good team around him and a good circle around him. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm very excited to see what the future holds for Edgar Berlanga. Um, man, if he keep on knocking people out like this, he going to get a, a, a championship shot soon. You know, he going to get an opportunity to fight one of these one of these big name guys like a, a David Benavidez or Kayla Plant. You know somebody that that got a name. Um, what's the what's the boy name? Um, um, damn, what's the uh, Callum Smith at one sixty eight? And like I said, I think this kid can go up to one seventy five and be successful, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. If y'all got a chance to check out uh, the Bed Tucker this past Saturday, man, and and you know. How did y'all like his performance? What do y'all see? Do y'all see a lot of promise in him? I know he got stuff to work on. I mean, he's a young fighter. We know he got things to work on. But just judging him off of his progress right now, you know, 
What would you like to see him in the future? What do you think the future holds for Edgar the Bed Tucker Berlanga? Man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender Regime Boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.